Hey, this is Alexey from Ace5 Studios, and this is a quick overview of what Theater Render is, does, and why you want it. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can follow the link below to my website where there's a larger overview. This is just the first intro tutorial. So, let's start with something cool that everyone likes. Cars. Okay, well, not everyone likes it, but it's good for this example. So, this is a car. I think it's from Evermotion. I don't know, I found it on my hard drive. Gonna guess it's from Evermotion. So, let's throw in a plane. Let's scale it up. Let's throw in an infinite light. Let's rotate it around so it's pointing in the right direction. And then let's go Theater Render, Dark Room, and hit play. Boom! Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Because this is pretty damn cool. And then you're like, hmm, Thea, and pull this up here, Thea, and metallic paint. And then you're like, boom, it's a purple car. And if you want, you can click here, and you can drag this down, and you can change the colors to like yellow. And then the reflection color to also yellow. And boom, yellow car. And you go Thea, and you go Metal. And you can just apply it to the whole thing. And then you go Thea, and Thin Glass, and drag it onto the glass. And you go Thea, and Rubber, and apply it to the wheels. And then this wheel as well. And then you're like, I don't like green wheels. And you click on it, and then you go, boom, black tires. Neat, right? And, you know, look how fast it's rendering. It's just crazy. You know, it's just like, wow. And there's also stuff inside, you know. If you want, you can delete this glass and you can have a look and there's, you know, well, that's all chromed up, so let's actually replace that with <laughs> black here. See, look, interior. Neat, right? No, let's go. Thea, plastic, and drag it on here. Nice, right? Okay, so I think that kind of illustrates my point on how cool that is. And then this is, you know, you're like, wow, that renders really fast. And then you do this. You go click on the car, you go MoGraph, put in a cloner, and then you change it to grid, and then you change this to one, and you drag this grid out to be pretty big. And you scale this thing up to be, you know, also big. Maybe you can even drag the cloner out, take up this whole grid, and take render instances. And you're like, that's not a lot of cars. But then you scroll up here, and then you scroll this up. And notice, let's stop this for a second. Let's close it. This is a Cinema 4D viewport. You see the four frames per second, right? And then we go back to our dark room, and we press play. Close them up. Check out how smooth that is. Isn't that so smooth? Okay, I feel bad because I didn't put the glass back in, but that's okay. I think you have a point, and then you're like, hmm, I want some depth of field here. And you make a camera, and you make sure it's active, and you add a Thea for Cinema for Thea camera tag. And then you go DOF. And then you press a little button here, and you go focus here. And then you focus here. And then you're like, oh, I want some more blur. And you scroll this down. And you got live, and you can keep clicking. You're like, I want to focus here, or here, or over there. And it's just, it renders it, and it's really sweet, and it's really fast. It's just crazy. And then, you know, it's mind blowing. And also, notice that it's faster than the viewport. So it's a doff here. Like, if you navigate here, it's like super smooth. So yeah, that's just fucking great, isn't it? I can't say fucking, can I? Yes, I can. It's YouTube. I can say whatever I want. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Keep reading up more stuff after the break.